Happy Flossmas, everyone. Welcome to Flossmas Day 13, Spooky 13. Not really. It's going to be a great day. My name is Carrie, and this is Tiger Lily Designs, and thanks so much for joining me today. Um, again, we're going to get right into the stitchy goodness. If you're finding me for the first time, welcome. My channel is mainly about cross-stitching, quilting, making, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but lots of fun. Um, and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome loading in to day 13. Thanks so much for coming back. Um, as you can notice, it's, it's day 13. It's like the hump day of Flossmas. It's like right in the middle. So I decided that warranted a, a, a holiday fascinator. So that's what we have what we have for us today. We're going to dig right into the kitten stitcher advent. Let's see what we got on day 13. I don't think this one's a pattern. It's not the right size. It's kind of a little squishy. Let's see. Do I have glasses handy? Okay, I'll show you. I don't think I need glasses to show you what this is. If you are stitching, you have seen this before, but let's get the details for you. Let's see what we got. Yes, ma'am. Dames of the Needle from the college. Oh, my fascinator is blocking my glasses. All right, here we go. This product is hand dyed and not color fast. It must be washed. It's one yard of Shakespeare's Primitive Red from Dames of the Needle. I can tell you, ooh, let me take the glare out for you. I've never used this pom-pom before. And that's what's the great thing about this advent is I'm being introduced to designers I've never seen and products I've never seen. But how yummy, it's a very crimson-y type red. I will have to see which pattern is going to warrant. And with the yard, I might be able to use it on two. Which lucky pattern is gonna get some yummy pom-pom trim? That is super fun. What a great day 13. All right, let's pop that right back in the box. Moving right along to our Etsy designer of the day. Here we are, day 13. I don't know why I take my glasses off. Um, reading is, they are needed. All right, so today's Etsy shop, all right, I got it. Today's Etsy shop's name is Spooky and Steve. Okay, so that's, that's the Etsy shop's name. The woman designer, the one behind Spooky and Steve, her name is Alyssa and she lives in Oklahoma. And her story is she's a pharmacist by day. And so like, as you can imagine, in the world we live in, Right now, the last two years have been pretty hectic for her. And so her stress relief method of choice is art and lettering and calligraphy and, and sketching and all the things. So she took that stress relief and turned it into a pattern design company, side hustle, I don't know what you wanna call it. She's still a pharmacist by day, but she is making some great patterns um, to share with the world. So the one that I am sharing with, so her Etsy shop, oh, hold on, super, it's like Spooky and Steve. You have to tell me the story behind that because I can make all kinds of guesses. So let's just get the real scoop. So the story behind Spooky, it's always interesting to see like how people come up with their business names. I think that's always fun. Um, so Spooky and Steve. Spooky is her black cat, and that's his name. Okay, that makes sense. I, I can I can get it. Steve is Spooky's friend, who is a life size skeleton. I mean, how fun is that? It's just cute. So Spooky and Steve is her Etsy shop name. Of course, she'll be linked below um, as today's featured designer. But the pattern I'm going to share with you. So she has like. <clears throat> 200, 300, there's lots of patterns to choose from. And if you just go and search Christmas, I should have brought my iPad and done a little uh, show you show and tell, but just pause the video and go check it out. And I went to Etsy and I in, in the Spooky and Steve shop, I just searched Christmas and like another 70 patterns came up. So this is just one of many. So if you like this style, go into, she's got lots of cute, patterns to choose from. Um, so this one is called the North Pole Milk and Cookies. The size of it is 81 by 174. So let me get you 
Let me just give you a little preview. So she's got a great pattern cover page. Spooky and Steve. Do you see like here's the cat and here's the skeleton? Makes a little more sense now. Um, but that is the pattern and how cute. It's very much like a farmhouse type, you know, one of those lettery board. Um, I just love it. She's got a lot of different Christmas sayings, a North Pole hot chocolate thing and a, a sleigh ride thing. I, there's lots of options. Um, but this one measures 81 by 174. And so on 14 count, it's 5.6 by 12.3. Okay, great. So let's see how I put my um, little Tiger Lily twist on it. Kind of like I did, we've, this is not our first farmhouse inspiration-y type sign. And so I want them to coordinate. And so again, I did my coffee all right let's not blow it out but my coffee what is that a little random ort there in the middle of it um my coffee tea dyed ada that i made you know so you can see it's a zweigart base it's got the orange stripe and so yesterday in my one hours of stitching i was able to get that um hunter green border that's on one side and get the the n and the o started so from this pattern, you can see, I think it's three colors. Yep, green, black, and red. Okay, that's pretty easy, pretty standard. If you're stitching Christmas, you definitely have one of those. Um, obviously, you know, there's a lot, lot, it's not stitch heavy, but it, you know, it's gonna use some thread. So I went ahead and I chose a DMC. Um, I chose, but hold on, I got a mess. I just threw it on in the bag last last night. I was a little uh, rushed to start. So the green I chose is this one, and then I chose, and then I'm using that black anchor. I didn't pick the red yet because I knew I wasn't going to get to that bottom part yet. Um, the hunter green that I'm doing is 986. I just thought so. I went down and did a little floss toss from my box ODMC and found a green that I thought looked good with the coffee tea dye. That's my main thing. It's just finding ones that go with your fabric. And obviously black is black is black. Um, well, not necessarily, but when you're using a solid one, it's certainly just black is black. So it was either 310, which my 310, I think is in like three different bags already. So I went and just grabbed my anchor, which was right there handy on my side stitching table. So that's what I'm doing. And I think this, this guy could come together pretty quickly if I just put some extra time into it. I haven't decided, see how, so it says since 1943. I'm curious, Alyssa, are you watching? What's the significance of 1943? What am I missing? What don't I know about that? I'm thinking I might put 2021 if I can get her done here in the next month. But how fun would that be? I like putting, do you put, Okay, question of the day. Oh, word of the day. Oh, all the things. Okay, so um, word of the day today is cookie. Because, you know, cookie. So remember, handy dandy crossword puzzle. Um, so the word of the day is you need it for two different reasons. Remember, our um, featured desires of the day are super generous and they are donating a one PDF pattern to a winner per day. So putting cookie in your comment below we'll enter you in that drawing for to win the pdf pattern and then putting cookie and the grand prize giveaway crossword puzzle will enter you well after you get all the other words we'll enter you into the grand prize giveaway okay there's a little admin for us so cookie is the word of the day but when in your cookie comment my question well pickles I had a question and then I knew I had to do that and now I'm all jumbled up. Well, I'm not quite sure where I was going. My train of thought left without me. Oh, well, maybe you'll come to me in a little bit. All right, so that is the um, featured designer of the day. She'll be linked down below. Got it. Uh, whew, came back. Okay, so my question to you is, um, are you a date and initial putter on her on your stitching? 
or are you not? Um, I know that there's like two two teams. We kind of had a fake tree and a real tree team. Now we're going to take a little Tiger Lily poll. Are you team put the date on the front of your projects and your initials or maybe one or the other? Or are you team like strictly the pattern? If you'd name or date it, it's on the back on one of those cute little like Kathy Barrick label things. What team are you? I want to know. Um, I'll tell you what team I am in a couple of days when I give you the results of the poll, but I'm curious, like that's interesting to me. So I might change that pattern and make it 2021 because I think that's fun. Um, all right. So the story for today is, um, I just wanted to share another one of the, the gift ideas that I've got for, for people in my life. Thankfully they're, they're not watching. Um, that some people watch, don't get me wrong. And and I should tell you about the dinner I had last night with my parents, which was just hilarious. First of all, the word floss tape came up. You know, you, you're in that floss tape. What? What's floss? Floss is dental floss. It was hilarious. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I... I have a tutorial on my website. And so the reason I'm showing you this is because, I mean, you, you got 12 days. It's kind of tight, but if you get her done, if you got to it, you could get her done. So one of my favorite things, and I'm making a couple to gift because who doesn't need tote bags, is to turn a t-shirt into a tote bag. So like, of course, and listen, this was a, a tiger. Then the savage is extra, but the tiger, Clemson tiger, I had to make this one. So this is, these are my two personal ones. And don't mind me, they're probably kind of dirty on the inside um, because I just throw the things in them. And okay, like it probably has dog hair on it. What up chicken butt? <laughs> okay, so I'm a dork. Um, and look, I put rooster fabric on the inside. But the great thing is, so this is just, this was a t-shirt in its first life. And super easy. I have a tutorial. I'll link it down below, but it's on my website or in my YouTube world under tutorials. There's only a handful of them, but it's a free tutorial just to show you guys how you just take a t-shirt, add like three or four different, you know, sewing ingredients, materials, and then you've got a t-shirt tote. And the great thing about the t-shirt totes as, as your reusable tote is it's washable like throw it in the washing machine these t-shirts went to the washing machine how many times and so once you stitch it up and you use the interfacing and the lining and everything is totally machine washable so i use these um as a quick run in the grocery store as long as i'm not getting like you know three carts worth um it's a quick little that so it's just my version of a reusable tote but also just a carry all all the things so that's a fun little thing so i wanted to show you this is the one. So when I'm thrifting, you know, when I was thrift thrifting in South Carolina, of course, you know, anything that has a tiger paw, I gotta buy it. Now, you know, this is not a size that's gonna fit anybody in my world. Well, I might be able to wear it, but I'm not. So I got it to thrift or to sew into a t-shirt tote. So maybe somebody's getting a tiger tote for fun. Cause you know, who doesn't love a tiger tote? So that's my fun little thing for today. And then I wanted to show you what else I was doing. Um, I'm going to, obviously, I'm throwing something in the grand prize box today because that's the fun of it all. I don't remember how many I should count. We're gonna, I'm gonna count for tomorrow. But we've we've got some great goodies already in that grand prize box, and it just keeps getting better and better. And so this weekend, as I was still trying to to straighten up the studio to bring y'all along and show ya, um, I found. A random product as be, as a maker who's been making for like 10 years or so i've made a couple different things and sometimes i make things and i'm like hmm, yeah that was fun i'm not gonna make them anymore so this is one of those things that i found but i was like you know what this is super okay so here's a stack of them of course i picked up a stack with all the orange shockingly i have a lot of orange which is great because i'll send these down with noah but okay so here's the stack i found maybe 30 of them like shoved in a corner of my studio of a product I made a couple years ago and I sold it and they, they were popular and things, but what are they? See this? So this obviously as a quilter, I have quilting scraps out the yin yang. And so this is just a little fabric coaster. I should have brought my coffee cup to show you. So I had these over in my family room in, in coordinating, you know, they change out in the season. So this is just a scrap um, coaster 
little scrap and it's got a zigzag around it and it's got you so you just twist around this rope so i might do a tutorial if you guys want let me know in the comments if that's something you guys won't even know how to make but the point is i'm going to throw a couple of these in to the stitching box or to the grandpa's box as your little like stitchy for your stitching chair when you're in your stitching chair and you've got your drink or your coffee and your whatever you want to have a nice pretty colorful coaster next to you so you know I love color <laughs> all the color so I'm going to give you a couple different varieties maybe a little C's oh and here's you know the fourth of July we'll get you a little assortment package of four that I'm going to go ahead and throw into the grand prize box give you a little coaster color um and if you want to, you could gift them, throw them with a, you know, handmade pottery throw a mug and what a great gift that would be. I'm not saying you should re-gift the gift that you win, but you know, I'm not opposed to it. So for those, I'm going to throw in the giveaway box for you guys to enjoy some color in your stitchy space life. All right. So that is Flossmas episode 13. Thanks so much for joining me. And of course, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.